What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and I want to go ahead and apologize if my voice sounds a little rough or if I come off as not being myself it is because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather but I am going to do my best to keep my strength up you know what I'm saying and just claim my healing and I will be alright but I just want to take you guys through this quick setup. Um, I did a few creative things that I want to show you guys so let's go ahead and get started. So I guess we'll start off in the locker room right here. We have Randy Orton taking his hoodie off and his locker. Um, I know you guys have seen him in this pose before, and I don't know why. I just love this pose. It really looks like, you know, he's taking off his hoodie there, getting ready for his match or, you know, leaving for the night or whatever. And I just love this. But I love the way Randy looks right here. Going uh, behind him, we have Jeff and Matt Hardy. And if you heard that noise, that means that Finn Balor has fell and he has crushed Baron Corbin here. But we'll get to that in just a second. We have the Hardy Boys right here. Jeff talking to Broken Woke and Matt right there going crazy. Maybe they got a match later tonight or something like that. Going beyond there, we have CM Punk and Stone Cold having a cold one together right there. Doing a little toast there. Hitting it together. Got the cooler in the locker behind them there. Right here, we have the Young Bucks giving a two suite on the couch. Too bad we do not have a TV yet on this wall. I really still want to do that so that I can, um, so it won't look so stupid because nobody's just going to sit on this couch without having something to do. So that is pretty much the locker room. We get a little hectic when we go through the door over here, but I will show you go out of it. So as you come through the locker room door, you will see that Chris Jericho is putting Seth Rollins on the list for wearing this stupid blue Power Ranger outfit that he's got on right there, that fantasy attire. Chris Jericho wasn't liking it, so he went ahead and put him on the list here. As we come around, you will see the big guys hitting it up right here. I would love to see these guys cross paths on the main roster. Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe getting into it right here. Just beyond that, we have Neville finally returning and smashing Enzo Amore's face onto that monitor. As we come around the hallway here, you will see the WWE Champion AJ Styles making his way to the GM's office. And behind him, you have Shinsuke Nakamura not too far behind because you know he's coming after his WWE Championship. So that's just a little uh, art right there, a little reference for uh, the main roster here. And if we come through the general manager's office, you will see Baron Corbin on the GM's desk about to get Kuda Grodd from the man himself, Finn Balor, up here. And he is about to jump off of that shelf and put Baron Corbin through the table. And just beyond KO and Samoa Joe, you will see the big dog right here. A little prediction for the Elimination Chamber. I think that it will be down to Roman and John Cena. And Roman will obviously pick up the win going on to WrestleMania to fight Brock Lesnar in the main event. Win the Universal title. And Vince McMahon will have his yearly booked WrestleMania um, and that'll be it. So that's just a little symbolism right there for you. Right here we have The Undertaker giving a last ride to Sami Zayn. You know, the part-timers always burying the young talent, so why not continue the trend right here? And my favorite part of the whole thing, and probably the most entertaining part, is Braun Strowman picking up this storage unit and about to crush James Ellsworth right there with it. So I guess we can go ahead and just lay him down here and then Braun crush him. So that's pretty much what was going to happen anyway. So I have went ahead and gone and done it for him. But that is pretty much the setup for today, guys. Again, I apologize for feeling under the weather and not feeling that great. But I did hope I still made this video entertaining for you guys. Let me know what you thought of this setup. Um, if you would like to see any future setups with different themes in the future, please let me know down in the comment section below. Leave a like. Try to get this video to 200 likes if we can. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.